From Faraday's Law, an inductor will oppose any change in the current through it by generating a self-induced EMF proportional to the rate of change of current through the coil. That self-induced EMF is equal to minus the inductance of the inductor times the time rate of change of the current through the inductor, where the EMF is measured along the direction of the current. Let's apply this expression with an example. Let's derive an expression for the EMF of an inductor. Suppose we have an inductor of inductance L. This inductor has a current I running through it. This current I is going away from us at the top of the inductor, and it's coming towards us at the bottom of the inductor. This current then induces a magnetic field that goes to the left. We're going to show that the induced EMF of an inductor is equal to minus the inductance of the inductor times the time rate of change of the current in the inductor. We're going to begin by using Faraday's law. Faraday's law says that an induced EMF is equal to the time rate of change of magnetic flux. Earlier, we defined inductance to be the ratio of magnetic flux over the current through the inductor. This allows us to replace the magnetic flux in our expression for EMF with the product of the inductance of the inductor and the current running through the inductor. Substituting this into our expression for the EMF being the time rate of change of the magnetic flux, or negative of that, we get that the induced EMF is equal to negative the time rate of change of the product of the inductance and the current running through the inductor. Assuming that the geometry of the inductor does not change in time, we could pull the inductance outside of the derivative, leaving us with the induced EMF of the inductor is equal to minus the inductance times the time rate of change of current.